The next step is to install the movement in the case. Before you do that, you need to have the cables fully extended. We do this so that when you initially wind the cables onto the drum, they do not, the cable does not overlap over itself. So we're just going to take this to the workshop and release the cables from the drum. So I'm just going to release the cables now from the drum. You do that by pulling on the cable whilst you release the click spring. So I'm going to release the click spring here with this tool. on the drum. And there it is released. Alright, so now we have the cables released we can install the movement in the case. At this stage you need to be very careful until we place the first weight on the cable. The reason for this is because at this point uh, it's not it's not anchored down and it's not as stable as it is with the weighting attached. Particularly brass dials have a very heavy face and have a tendency to fall forward. So uh, if you can have two people do this or be very careful. The next thing we would do would be place the weight, the left hand weight, which is the strike side, on first. Hook the weight on the cable. and allow it to drop to its full extent. Now the movement is a lot more stable and we can take our time with the rest of the installation. Now at this point with the first weight on we can position the dial accurately in the hood. So we would put the hood on and then move the dial to its final place. So with the first weight on, we can accurately place the dial as we want it in the masking surround so that it's centered on the clock. This makes it easier when you have one weight on, the one weight is stability and if you try to do this with two weights and the pendulum it's just too heavy. So the next thing you would do would be place the pendulum in its location. We feed it up in the back through the crutch and hook it on the top block. So now we have the pendulum in place we can place the time weight on its cable the next step would be to wind the weights up two winding points, left for the strike, right for the time side. The purposes of having the cables fully extended when we install the movement is so that as we initially wind the cables they go on evenly on the drum. So we can check that they're moving on evenly as we do the initial wind and this one's doing nicely.
So now we wind up the time side. And as you can see, it's going evenly on the drum.